G'day, this is Chris Betcher and I'm here with week three of the Adobe Train the Trainer course. And I wanna show you how to make this uh, this digital badge. We've been learning to make digital badges in Illustrator. And uh, this is what I'm aiming for, this one up in the corner here. Um, I've already started it and um, I'm not gonna show you how to do this because this was already shown in the tutorial. What I wanna show you in this one is how to create the Illustrator logo here that we'll place here and we'll just add a star to the top and we'll add the text. So let's start with the text here. So first of all, pretty easy, you click on the text tool and uh, just click on the on the canvas there somewhere and we'll type in um, uh, illustrator superstar like so now that is text right now and if we just uh, apply it as text um, I mean we can do that we can make it bigger and so on but it is a piece of text uh, and it remains editable which is great but once you're certain that it says what it's supposed to say it's a really good idea to go to the object menu and just expand that text uh, use object and fill and what it will do is it will convert that text into actual vector shapes um, I just want to take that text drag it up there and place it roughly there Hold down the shift key so we don't distort it at all and drag it out and put it about there Maybe shuffle it down I'm just pressing the down arrow on my keyboard just to shuffle it down just a tad um, That's actually black. I don't really want it black So I'll go to the appearance panel here and just choose a slightly Lighter shade of gray. There you go. So there is the text in there now We need the illustrator box up here. So the simplest thing is to go to the uh, the shape tool up here choose the well, we can choose a rectangle tool, just draw a square, hold down the shift key while you draw the square just to make sure it stays uh, in proportion as a square. And I want this to have some rounded corners, so I'm just going to grab the corner here. Now, because the whole shape is selected, um, when I grab one of these little boxes, in the, these little dots in the corner here, and pull in slightly, it will round the corners like so. And because they were all selected, all the corners get rounded. And I wanted to have this orange outline, so we'll just uh, go back to our selection tool, click on the shape, and go to the stroke tool here, and we'll choose this uh, orange shape there, and it needs to be quite a bit thicker, so we'll just bump up the size until I'm happy with it. That's about perfect. Okay, that's great. All right, now I need the AI symbol, Adobe Illustrator. So we'll go back to the text tool, just go in here and type AI. That font is close enough to what I need, so I'm just gonna roll with it for now. Um, just hold down shift, make that a little bigger. And again, I need to go to the object tool and expand that just to break it into uh, an actual vector image. Now that it's a vector, I can go up to the fill color here and choose the shade I want. There it is there. Uh, it needs to be bigger, hold down shift, drag that up bigger, drop into position. That's about perfect, just there. That looks pretty close to me. All right, I'm gonna pop this back up into position. That's just about there, that's uh, that's pretty close. And I just like a star on the top. You can grab a star over here from the shape tool. There's a star tool right there. Uh, just click and drag. Again, I want it perfect, so hold down the shift key. And probably about that big would be fine. Maybe make it a little darker. Maybe make it stand out like that dark orange. And then we'll grab the direct selection tool here, drag it into position, use the guides to make sure it's centered. And there you go, there is our final Adobe Illustrator Superstar badge.